What's up everybody, D'Angelo here, and this video is gonna be on why you shouldn't do business with people who went Black Friday shopping. Now I don't mean every single person, I just mean you know the average everyday consumer. Right? So when you first start out in marketing, you're like a superhero, right? You have the superhero complex. You're like, oh man, I just made this much money and I can I can save everyone. No one has to be poor now. No one has to be broke. I can I can save people, you know? And then you start to slowly realize that it doesn't matter how much you want someone to be successful. If they don't want to be successful, they won't be. Like it really doesn't matter. Like you can be a billionaire. And let's say you want this person over here to be successful without obviously just giving them money or whatever. And let's say you just wanted them to be successful and you tried to pour all your time and your energy and you tried to, you know, call them up and, and all this stuff. It wouldn't matter how successful you are. You can't force someone else to be successful. Right. So that's what I'm talking about here in this video, guys, um, that, you know, a lot of you guys are trying to, especially in the making money online niche, you're trying to get these type of people here, these everyday regular nine to five people to join businesses, which you should not be doing. You should just sell them things. It's going to be a million times easier. You're going to make a lot more money and you're going to have way less headache. And again, it's not like you're, you're doing anything bad. Cause that's how I, well, I don't know. That's how I felt in the beginning. Cause I was like, man, I'm going to be making all these, all this money off of people and stuff. But I mean, like that's what they want. I mean, you got to give the people what they want. If they want to, you know, look at these people, they're literally standing outside of this stuff here waiting, you know, to go to give Walmart their hard earned money. Right. And most of these people, you know, are living paycheck to paycheck. You know, what is it? Seventy six percent of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. This is why. Right. Instead of, you know, investing in something that's going to make them more money, they will literally put all their money, you know, on things that aren't even like worth buying. Like, do you like a lot of these people don't need fucking a new TV? Why do you need a new TV? Right. Instead of buying a TV, like, for example, if I like was super broke, I would sell everything to get money to be able to, you know, go and, um, you know, and, uh, you know, invest and stuff. Because I've actually done it before, you know, like right before I got into marketing, you know, and all that stuff, you know, I had uh, my lights had ended up getting cut off because of um, because basically I just fell behind or whatever. Went on Craigslist. I sold my TVs. I sold everything and bought lower versions of everything. So all my bills were taken care of, you know, and I still was able to have everything. It just wasn't, the, you know, the biggest TV, you know, or top of the line stuff. And a lot of people won't sacrifice. And these people here won't sacrifice, right? They're probably using credit cards and shit like that, you know, to go and buy these useless items that they really don't even need with money they don't even have, right? Makes no sense whatsoever. But again, this is why, you know, when you go to someone and they're like, and you're like, hey, man. Um, if you invest, like, let's say you're talking to one of these people literally right here, like, Hey, instead of buying this, this, uh, overpriced ass TV for $300, you know, cause you can literally go online and get a way cheaper than that. But I mean, like, instead of buying this overpriced ass TV, take 200 of that and invest it into this or take a hundred of it, invest it in this or even $50 and invest it in this. And you'll be able to make way more money than you're making right now, you know, and all of this stuff. They will not do it, will not do it, right? Because they won't understand it. They will like, it makes no sense whatsoever. Like for me and you, this is common sense. Why the hell would you go and spend, you know, your last $300 on a TV? That makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Why would you do that? Like for the average person, for the average person, that makes perfect sense. You know, oh, take, you know, after all bills, well, shit, not even these days, it's not even after bills, before bills, you know, they go and buy what they want, then whatever's left over, that's what they try to, like, pay the bills with, and, you know, and then negotiate and stuff with the, the bill companies and stuff like that. But, you know, you can't force people to be a business owner. And, you know, it's, it's like I said, when you first start out in marketing, this is going to be a hard pill to swallow because, I mean, there's probably going to be friends, family members, and stuff like that, that you're like, you know, you might even get mad at them sometimes. Like, bro, like I just told you all you had to do was do this and invest in this right here. And you'd be making thousands of dollars right now. But instead, you want to take your money and go over here to, you know, uh, Walmart and buy a bunch of shit or go to Amazon and buy a bunch of stuff. But you couldn't invest in what I'm doing. Well, you can just pay for for me. And, shit. and then you ask one thing too, guys, a little off topic. Never pay someone's way into a company. I don't care how much money you make. 
never, ever, 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 ever pay someone's way into a company. That is just a recipe for disaster. Not 100% of the time, but for the most part, you should never pay someone's way into a company because they're not going to appreciate it. Because like they didn't have to work for it, so they're probably not going to take it seriously for the most part. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Stop trying to force people who are not business owners to become business owners because they are going to fail. All right. If they want to buy knickknacks and useless items and shit like that, sell it. Sell it. Become the next Walmart. Sell it to them. All right. No one's forcing these people to be here. No one's convincing those people to be here. No one's doing any of that. All they're doing is they all, they, you know, what I'm saying all they, all they did was just put up the store and people just came running. That's all you needed to do. All right. Very simple process. Tomorrow is, you know, going to be uh, Cyber Monday. So you can make some money off of that as well. But that is pretty much it, guys. You know, um, like I said, it is a pretty tough pill to swallow when you realize there are some people you just can't help. But overall, I mean, like it's, it's just, it is what it is, guys. Again, can't force someone to be a business owner and you should not try to force someone to be a business owner if they don't want to, you know, have to not worry about bills and stuff like that, you know, without doing anything. You know, a lot of people do want this lifestyle or whatever. It's just that they don't want to do anything to get here. They don't want to put in the time needed. They don't want to do any of that. And that's another thing, too. A lot of people who give you excuses talking about they don't have time to do it and they don't have money. But these same people are going to be over here at Walmart spending hours, you know, sleeping outside, standing outside, waiting in the store, um, you know, and all this stuff, hours upon hours upon hours. You know, just standing there to save $20, to save 50 bucks. Mind blowing. But that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, stop trying to force people who are not business owners to become business owners.